Don't let your ex destroy your relationship and marriage. Keeping a close contact with your ex is not advisable if you have started another relationship. One of the most delicate relationship problems we have is the issue of what? Ex lovers. Stay tuned. Don't let your ex destroy your relationship or your marriage. Let's have a discussion. I'll be right back. Okay, welcome back. My name is Esla. This is my YouTube channel, Esla Relationship Advice. I'm not only here to advise you. I hope you know that. We are all here to have a discussion. How do you do that? By leaving your comment down. What do you think about the video? Let's have a discussion. Please, if today is your first time of watching my face, please consider subscribing, join the family. And for those of you that have been supporting me throughout the year, I'm very, very grateful for that. God bless you all. Happy New Year to everybody. So let's get right into the video. So what are the things you need to do so that your ex can never destroy your relationship or can never destroy your marriage? Keep your ex off your relationship. Friendship with your ex cannot continue after marriage or when you started a new relationship. Have you ever thought of it? The reason why they left you or behaved the way they did? The truth is that if they truly loved you or missed you, they shouldn't have abandoned you or dumped you. They should have go ahead and marry you or they should have keep the relationship. So once they are off your way or they have dumped you or they have rejected you, you shouldn't keep friendship with them after you have started a new relationship or after you have gotten your man of your dream or your woman of your dream. After you have gotten married, they shouldn't have kept in touch with you. Being best with your ex is never advisable when you started a new relationship or when you are married. So ex lovers, be careful how you relate with your ex. Never discuss your current relationship or your current marriage or maybe you have dumped your husband or something. Never discuss your current relationship with your ex. It's the dangerous part to threat on. Never do that. Another thing to do so that your ex can never destroy a relationship is what? Keep your ex at a distance. If you have started a new relationship, please keep your ex at a distance. They should please step aside for you to enjoy your relationship, dating or marriage. You need to keep them distance away from you. And please pay attention to this. Some ex lovers are very dangerous, crafty, smart, and wicked, and some are very stubborn. They can as well blackmail you to do his or her bidding. Sometimes they are very, very desperate. Why did they leave you? Now that they see that you are happily enjoying your marriage or your relationship, now that they will be coming back, if you don't take time, they will blackmail you. So keep your ex distance. Give them distance. They shouldn't draw nearer to you. Don't keep their contacts touching them. Once they see that you are progressing, that's why they are desperate. They will start blackmailing you. Most of them behave like something is controlling them. They will start texting you a message. Ever since you have left me, I have no no peace. It's the work of the devil. Please, let's forget it. My heart still belongs to you. I still dream about you. They will start these things for you. And if you don't take time, they will blackmail you. So take note. Give your ass a distance. So please, if they come with those excuses and I can't sleep, you still belong to me. Don't fall for his or her crap. Those are their tricks to lure your attention to them again. So if you have found a new relationship, if you have started a new relationship or you are married, you are happily married or in a new relationship, please take care of yourself and don't fall for those they are crap. They will still lure you into it and they will start blackmailing you. Okay? If they truly love you, they shouldn't have dumped you at the first place. So now that they left and they went to see the world and it is not well good for them or it's not going well for them, they want to come back to you. Don't accept. The next thing that can help you to sustain your relationship or your marriage so that you don't allow your ex to destroy your 
relationship or marriage is what? Stop making love with your ex. Most men and women still sleep with their ex even when they are in a new relationship or when they are married or when they are in their husband's house. What's at all is in this your ex that you still go there to have sex with them. Last time I was hearing some news. A woman who is about to get married the next day went ahead to sleep with her ex. I have a prayer that this should not happen to me. If it is witchcraft, I can't say it. A day to your wedding. What I thought is in this your ex that you can't let go, that you want to have sex with your ex a day before your wedding. And God was not on her side and she got caught. They caught her. It's a disgrace. What are told that what are the sex positions that your ex have been doing to you that you can't tell this your current girlfriend or your current boyfriend to do for you? We learn. Even though your girlfriend or your boyfriend don't know it, you have to teach your girlfriend or your boyfriend. You have to teach them. Everything we learn. So if you have been doing some stars for you, it is if it is doggy star or cow girl, which one? Ask him or her to learn it. If it's someone that is ready to please you, he or she will learn it. Don't go back to your ex, making love with your ex. It's never done. So what the hell did you miss about this your ex? Is it the sex, the dress stick, or the pussy? Which one? The money, or the swag, or the romance? What the hell did you need, or what the hell did you miss about your ex? That you can't tell your current husband or your current boyfriend to do for you. Please, let's stop certain things. We draw problems for ourselves. Sometimes we normally encounter some problem in this life. It's not anybody that is doing us. Then we will start blaming the devil. The next tip is what? Say no to an S relationship. What's the hell that you can't get for your new relationship? You need to say no to an ex relationship again unless maybe you are not into any relationship and you have seen a genuine change in them you have seen that they have truly changed sometimes i will be saying that what is yours will surely come back if it is yours if it is god's will it will surely come back unless you see a genuine change in them then if you want to accept them back you can accept them but you need to say no to an ex relationship if you are in a new relationship let them be one side for you, okay? They always come back when they see that you are happy. When they see that you are progressing in this life. When they see that they were not able to give you certain things and you are not having those things. Things that they were not able to provide for you. You are not having those things. You are not having your peace of mind, your attention, your everything. You are faithful. You are everything to yourself. They have, they have not seen that you are just moving higher. That's when they come back to destroy your life again. And don't fall for those they are grabbed. Don't fall for it at all. Always remember this. Your ex-lover took a decision to turn his or her back on you. It is his or her choice not to marry you. And now that you are happily married or you are in a good relationship, they should leave you alone to enjoy your relationship or your marriage. It was their choice to leave you. They shouldn't come back for you. It is their choice not to marry you. They shouldn't come back to destroy your marriage. And please beware of this. Most heirs are very manipulative. Shine your eye. We never resolve a heartbreak by having an affair or sleeping with your ex just to break your partner's heart. No. It's never done because the current guy or the lady you are with right now, something happened between the two of you. Then you want to go and sleep with your ex so that you can pay them. You want to give them skin pay. Uh uh. It is never done like that. Okay? A word to a wise is enough. Please, let's start this new year with a new beginning. Okay? We are here to learn. And please don't entertain your ex. Don't let them to destroy your 
happy marriage or relationship. Now that they see that you are happily in everything, then they want to come and destroy your happiness. Abba, don't allow them, okay? I hope you have enjoyed this video or I hope you have learned something from this video. Once again, if you haven't subscribed yet, please join our community. Subscribe, like, and comment. Till I see you in my next video, stay blessed, be faithful, be hopeful, and God will do everything for us. Our heart desires will come to pass in this new year. Happy New Year. I love you all. Stay blessed.